Welcome back to the channel guys. Uh, I didn't really put up a video last night because I went to bed early. I hadn't been feeling well. I've been having back problems and chest pains. So I slept like all day. Uh, but technically it's only like 11 in the morning. And I already did my live stream for uh, live duels where I got beat up all four times. Uh, which is usual for me on live. Um, I basically only used to be good at live duels when I first started playing this game. I don't know if it's just due to loss of interest in the game or what, but it seems like sometimes even after the first live duel, I'm pretty much just waiting for it to be over. Like, I don't enjoy it at all. Um, when it comes to the hatching, all I'm doing is still hatching uh, race cells, working on Thundenix and Gigagram, and I'm waiting on Blackfeather to hatch, which doesn't really matter if he hatches or not, because I can't do shit with him. Uh, I don't have any way to rank him up. I'm not going to spend Stardust and then have them bring out the Flash ranks right after I spend my Stardust, which is exactly what they did to me last time with the Amber, meaning I wanted to rank monsters with uh, Flash rank before and build different teams, and I was completely unable to do that because as soon as I got my gems, they took away Flash ranks, and then as soon as I spent my Amber, they brought Flash ranks back. So I'm not going to do the same shit with uh, Stardust. I'm just not going to rank any of my guys. Uh, I plan to rank 3 Bombetta, but I'm not ranking Bombetta until then. I plan to rank 3 Day, but I'm not ranking Day until then. Um, I plan to rank Heist, but I'm not ranking Heist until then. And that's basically the boat that I'm in. Uh, I wanted to go over the new monster that's in the maze, but they didn't give a move sheet yet. I haven't went and really looked on the internet discord for it. Uh, so I'm just going to go over to the maze and tell you what my plan is. My plan is just to save all of the maze coins until they open up the hidden path and then use the 10% discount when the hidden path opens, which will be one hour after the maze coin dungeon ends. And as far as I know, he's just a revive monster that's tanky. Uh, he gets uh, damage protection on his like rank 3, but I'm not rank 3-ing this guy. Like, Kodama's a monster. They brought the monster out for a reason. Like, if you see the loading screen, Kodama's over top of Rotten, so it's... It's absolutely no interest of me to be ranking Rotten. I would rather rank Londrad, even though Londrad has crappier stats because he's just a plain mythic and uh, Rotten is a cosmic mythic. Uh, so basically, nothing is going on in this game. I am completely not interested in it. I'm going to be playing my tasks. Uh, the task that I'm on is a slots game. I will show you that. So on the slots game, I am on level 16. I need to get to level 50 to get my rewards. Uh, I think it's only 600 gems, but that's where I'm at. Uh, I'll just pick one and show you one little quick uh, spin or two on it. Uh, the graphics on it are pretty cool. I do like the way that the graphics look. Uh, I do like the way that it also it fluctuates. Every level is a different slot. Uh, and you're just sort of like progressing through the game like on a, on a map instead of just non-stop doing uh, slots. And each one of them has like a, I guess you would say a quest. Like this one says collect three symbols in a winning combination that have to be like the poison spear or whatever. So usually I just set whenever it asks for something like that to bet to the minimum. And I hit the auto until it, it completes the quest. And then what I do is wait till the ones where they're like max bet so many times and then you win. Looks like we just finished the quest that quick. And that's how you move on to the next level. So that puts me at, I guess, what, level 16 if that was level 15. And I only need to go to 50. So to me, this is not a very hard game, not a very hard task. And the only reason why I accepted the task was that there was no, no time limit on it so that I could take my time. So as you can see, I'm already on level 17, so that's pretty simple. So aside from doing my tasks, I will also be doing my missed play task that I showed you in a previous video, which is make level 3, and I'm just doing who wants to be a millionaire and play baseball on that. Uh, which brings me to the next thing that I want to talk about, which is probably the biggest joke update I've seen since I've been playing um, Forsaken Chess. I think if you spend 600 gems on that Forsaken chest, you are probably the same type of person who's going to live a really shitty life. Meaning, if you can't see that that's a ripoff, then I don't know what to tell you. There's absolutely no Forsaken in the game that's worth 600 gems. I mean, if you did not have Santa, and you were like, oh, well, Santa's worth 600 gems. No, he's not. Santa is the worst 
status caster Megaton in the game. He cannot even cast Megaton. So he is a joke until rank 1. And rank 1 is going to be thousands of gems if you're opening up chests. Uh, it's going to be hundreds of souls if you're opening up chests. The only other way that they have provided you with the ability to get Forsaken Souls so far is right here. Uh, and I got 10 souls, which means every 5 months I could get a quarter of a monster. It's just, like, <laughs> I can't even take them seriously. That's how I feel about it. Like, I really, like, just bring Flash Ranks back. Yeah, I, I'm so close to quitting your shitty game. Like, that's how I feel about this game. I feel so, like, heartbroken for all the kids out there who are spending money on this piece of shit. Like, for real. Like, you're gonna pay $40 for 250 gems and maybe uh, maybe a forsaken monster like that buys you what one forsaken monster at rank zero name me one zero rank forsaken monster that is worth 20 bucks i'll wait because there isn't one uh so yeah forsaken days are just a complete joke like i can't there's like oh my god i just i don't even have words to explain to you how shitty social point is like and they say why do i play their game because i'm still passing all you losers who play their game that's why i'm still playing their game meaning as soon as i'm done passing you losers i will move on to the next game and it's that simple and maybe the next game will actually be more fun than just the first two months when you play it because that's all this game is is fun for the first two months this deal here is the best deal that i've seen like meaning today like this isn't a great deal or anything i've seen a better deal during the birthday event where they sold three of these for 45 bucks you can break this down, though. You can get three super runes out of this. So, I mean, that's like $7 a piece if you're a Golden Legends member. So, that's a way better deal. Don't buy Forsakens if you can buy this. If you're trying to spend money to win, like, don't buy these maze coins. That's a complete ripoff, too. You're getting a shitty monster. Just buy the damn runes. Like, so, so far, knock on wood, they haven't destroyed the value of runes in the game meaning like tomorrow they could come out with an update that's like oh we we, we just made uber runes so now tens don't matter because a one uber is better than a 10 don't put any trust in this game I, I would not expect anyone to put trust in this game whatsoever they could just screw you in your asshole the next update like i would not trust them at all i would not spend money here would not trust them um which, I mean, I'm a prime example. I don't spend money. And now I'm doing tasks. They're lucky the tasks are playing games. And somebody's already noticed that I have more fun playing a task game than I have fun playing this game. But yeah, the task game just doesn't... It doesn't have any, like, substantial value. Meaning, like, it's not like I got a, a YouTube page of me passing everybody in the game before I left. Which is exactly what I'm up to. Meaning, eventually, I'm just hopefully going to top 100 and then get the hell out of this game. Like, that would be a great, great little, you know resume for me when i go on to the next game is like yeah i top 100 dungeon boss i top 100 monster legends and i moved on you know i made eighth in the world on uh the dead man season of runescape but then i went and got a job at taco bell so i never played in the thirty-two thousand dollar tournament which i was qualified for so i mean i've definitely had my share of games i've been playing games for like 25 years and when it comes to this game this game is trash like it, the beginning of this game is awesome it's a ton of fun Meaning when I first started playing this game, I had a lot of fun. And then they just don't care about you, man. It's like once you rate for, put your rating in for Google, you're nothing. Like they don't give a shit if you spend gems or not. Like they don't give a shit if you buy money or not. And a lot of the old heads think that, you know, oh, they're making a killing off race. No, they're not. They're making a killing off selling garbage to new players. Like look, they do such a good job of selling garbage to new players that that's why this exists. They've gotten so addicted to selling garbage to new players that that's why this exists. This right here, it comes out like the day after Rune Lords, but it's still, this is what people do during Rune Lords. They buy runes, and that's why there's so many, like, players that are high up on the Rune Lords chart all the time, is because new players want to gear up their stuff so they can play with it in PvP, and then they make top 100 in, like, three months playing because it only costs 200 bucks. Like, it's a joke. Ah, anyway, what's going on here in the Rune Temple? If you watched my last video, you've seen that I took an 8 strength and I put it in the rune temple with 3 speeds. Well, guess what? It came back in 8 strength. So I didn't get shit. But then I turned around and I put it back in there one more time with 3 speeds. As you can see, I got a, a 9 cooking. So, worst off, it's a 9 strength.
best off. It's a nine speed, and that completes the runes that I needed for uh, Black Feather. Where it says, where when it comes to Heist, uh, if you've been watching, you know that I have level sixes on him. I plan to change that to a nine speed and two ten strengths. That's the goal with him. I think Heist is extremely good after rank three. I've went up against him in PvP and got my ass beat by him enough times that I think I can say that he's pretty damn good after rank three. Even though I get my ass beat by damn near everything. Uh, let's see what we get out of one of these little tier ones. 40 Frostbites. I do not belong anywhere near top 500. Uh, more people have ranked up their Vanoses. More people have ranked up their Hardies. Um, these are revenges, meaning they're easy to win because you've seen what you were going up against before you fought them. Uh, but when it comes to attacks, I'm like 50-50. I win as much as I lose. Uh, it looks good here, but right before then, I lost four in a row. So don't think that it, like that I'm kicking ass in PvP because I'm not. And everything is beating my defense again, which, I mean, we go through this. I got one win there out of ten. So like, I'll show you my overall record. Uh, I've been doing a lot of PvPs, and they're not fun. They're really not. They're, they're just like flipping a coin. Like, I can tell you if I'm going to win or lose usually as soon as I walk in the fight, and then the rest is just a boring, like, waiting for that to happen. Uh, I'm not excited about war at all. War does not excite me in this game. Whether I'm winning or losing, there's nothing in the reward shop to interest me. I do not buy the relics. I only buy the runes. Um... Yeah, so I have absolutely nothing I want to be doing in this game today, and then I still have myself obligated to make one video a day, and this video is a late video, which basically means it's yesterday's video, because I still have to make one for tonight. But, yeah, there's nothing really going on in here. I mean, I just me complaining. Uh, let's go to the, the feed quests. Uh, as you can see, I need a lot of food to feed. Um, I don't have the full 15 on me. But I also haven't started to spend any gold on food yet, which I will probably pay the food guardian, and then I will pay, uh, I will put these two farms right here, two big farms, and then the rest a little, and by the end of uh, the two days, I think I'll have enough to feed this 15 mil, and what I plan to feed with them is basically, I guess, I'm going to take a, a try at doing what somebody told me to do and feed pterodactyls, but I'm going to feed them like level 20 each, I think, or maybe level 30 before I extract them. But first I'm going to 5k cells with uh, the Thundenixes, so I'll just feed uh, Thundenixes, I think, until I get to uh, 5k cells. Other than that, i got nothing going on, so let's jump into PvP and see if I can get my eggs uh, without getting my ass beat too badly. But for real, I can't stand this game. Um, this one is uh, anyone's fight. I guess it depends on how high the relic is. Pump seat, it's pretty high because I didn't get any stamina out of my guy. So let me guess, it's 40. Uh, it doesn't show you on here, but I don't think it's 40. Uh, does he have Megaton? Yes, he does. So there's not really anything I can do unless I want to be hitting into Megaton. Uh, the rest is try to kill this guy. We can reduce his power. Can't daze him. Don't think I can one-shot him either. Uh, but I might if he doesn't have a heal relic. But I should have been able to just go ahead and check and read. And I didn't. So we're going to find out. Yes, he does. Oh, never mind. He got that uh, regen off of the tank. Why Why wouldn't he just kill my Nora? I don't know what he's doing. Not sticking around and find out either. Well, I guess we are finding out. Alright, let's exit. Oh, yeah, I got beat. My team sucks. I suck. The game sucks. It's like a big trifecta of garbage. All right, so the same damn boat. Got to do something about Megaton. Got to do something about the power of his attacker. And now I'm basically screwed. Wait, he's only got one strength rune. I can eat that hit. Let's try and get rid of this reviver. Damn, I didn't want to kill the reviver. You little bitch. As you can see, this is what I was talking about. 
I think roughly I belong in like 800th place. I don't even think I'm going to try to top uh, 500 this PvP event. I don't even want to stress. I think I'm just going to walk away from the game this week. And do my tasks and just relax and wait till race and just do the race and pray the monster is decent. I think that's the game plan on this channel. I sit back and wait for flash ranks. Uh, I haven't been able to make any upgrades to my team in over a week. Um, I haven't been able to make any upgrades, period, in over a week. I'm really counting on the flash ranks, and at the same time, when I'm really counting on them, they take them away from me, so... <sighs> I have a hard time believing that it's just coincidence. But we're going to see, like, they're going to have to stay gone for a month because I'm not ranking anything the other way. I'm not using Stardust or, or Mythic Amber for at least a month if they don't do any changes. We'll sit back and wait. Uh, got the Evade trigger here. I guess what more could they ask for? Definitely uh, not able to do anything. Make them forced to use a revive on the guy who doesn't have taunt. Uh, heal my guys. I'm just gonna daze armor claw just in case I don't have enough juice to leave him alive. Oh, that was a misplay. So what is that? Like five in a row? One, two... Three, four, five, yeah, five fights in a row. This is what I mean by, like, with why I have 500 fights in the first place is because PvP is a complete up and down for me, meaning, like, I win exactly how many I lose. Like, meaning now I'll probably win a couple in a row because they'll give me shitty opponents, so, like... You people that are out there paying on this game, I can't imagine what your life is like. That It's that simple. I really can't imagine. If you're spending money on this game and you're enjoying this game, I'd like to know what other games you've played in your life. Like, how can... I just can't comprehend. Like, I'm only still on this game because of how easy it is to pass players. There's no other reason why I'm playing it. Zero. Complete zero other reason. Meaning, I guess, maybe the same people that I'm talking to where you're like, hey, I spend money and I enjoy this game. Maybe you're only enjoying the game and you're only here too because you're still passing players. Maybe that would make sense. You're like, well, I beat everybody, so that's why I play the game. And that's why I play the game, so, I mean, it would make sense. But other than that, there's really nothing good to be said about this game. You can battle other players. It reminds me of Pokemon, uh, except if you play Pokemon, you go up against pretty much Japanese kids all day. Oh, well, I'll take that special because I might not have won the fight without it. Who knows? I just need the regular, yeah. Man, I have, I just hatched two of those shitty eggs and a tier four, meaning I've had three tier ones and two tier fours without having a tier five land in my egg thing. As soon as my egg thing filled up, I got tier fives. Um, I was hoping that he would just hit harder so that I could exit, but I guess we got to, yeah, get the fuck out of here. That pissed me off because if we vulnerabled him, we could have one shot at him with Nora's uh, zero cooldown move or zero and zero stamina move. Uh, I have no choice but to heal my guys or they might die. They still died. Man, I don't want to play this game anymore.
And it's like, I get it. If, if they would just make flash ranks, bring them back, the, I could be building a different team that doesn't lose half the time. Like, I could get me a mega taunt monster. I could put my runes on monsters that mattered. I could, oh my god, it's just so aggravating. One of the most aggravating games I've ever played. Like, that team is super easy to beat if I brought a taunt, but I, I don't bring a taunt, or I mean a mega taunt because I'm using Ignis, but I'd rather run Bombetta than Ignis, but I don't have a Bombetta. I'm going to have to wait and see if it's six months before I have one. Who knows? Uh, here I will damage boost and get rid of the anticipation traits so that I can beat him to death. Dazed. Let's see, can we kill it? No. Probably has Uriels also. No, it doesn't have Uriels. I didn't need that special, but I'm using it anyway. So at the moment, I'm not even winning half of them, but I got my eggs, so I can get the hell out of this. All right, anything left that I didn't cover? I don't think so. Uh, so have a nice day, guys.